Oh, I got hit. That's okay. We can still avoid taking uh, damage at the boss. So I think whenever we hear that sound, the shing, I think that means that we got a crit. Barbados. Damn. I want to get the explosive on him. Oh, that's such a hard one to get. Oh, well. dead for a second there. So much for my bonus. Just, I'm committing to killing them. I was trying to go for the fervor because I really wanted to do my ability again. And then I ran into his attack. Damn it. That does a lot of damage, though. I bet it would do way more if I could actually get the explosive off on it. Barbados. You might be one of the few people I don't rename here. Ooh, seeds. Ooh, wait. Oh, shit. I don't know. I'm gonna grab the gold nuggets. And hope that doesn't bite me in the ass. Because seeds are great, obviously, for the farm. But we haven't even built a farm yet. We ha but we've never gotten gold nuggets. We've never spent gold nuggets. So those might be, like, super important. Do not make the mistake of becoming the servant of your followers. They are for you to use to your advantage. Their faith is a resource. Spend it as you would gold. For you can always regain their trust with a well-placed gesture of kindness. Let it empower you. Let it give you license to do unspeakable things. Bend them to your will. I will grant you the power to read the feeble little minds. Whoa. Read mind. Follower command unlock. Interact with followers to read their thoughts, as well as see how hungry, tired, or sick they are. All right. Follower action. You have declared adoption was his grand new follower action. When interacting with followers, this action will be available to you. Okay, now we can keep track of people a little bit better. See how happy they are. Or, you know, are not. What's up, Termix? Lita, if we want to survive here, we're going to need to start farming some food. Shut the fuck up, Termix. I know that. We're working on that, okay? Uh, farming bundle, farmer station. Farmer stations allow followers to water nearby crops. Seed silo, put seeds here for your followers to sow. Okay. I'll follow up on this. Upgrade temple and shrine, collect more devotion, allow more followers to pray. That does sound pretty good. Yeah, I guess I need to get this upgrade in order to be able to get the other upgrades here. But I, I, I do intend to at least get the body pit. A 
eventually. Termix! What are your thoughts? Read mind. Alright, thoughts. Bad chat. Boring. Must avoid them in future. <laughs> cult has a new building. Our glorious cult continues to grow. Leader did quest. I am so honored the leader quested on my behalf. Good chat. I had a great conversation with a fellow cult member. Our cult grows in greatness. Instant believer convert. I have never been so sure of anything in my life. I like how he's... This motherfucker. Why'd you have to be cynical? You're my first dude. Alright, so they're a little hungry. But their 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 germ thing is pretty good. Okay. Well, uh, let's do our, our ritual real quick. And then we'll we'll build a farm plot. Sermon! My children! Tonight is the night! We will begin our first celebration! And using the bones of our enemies. We shall know that the night belongs to us! Wonderful! Good job, everybody. That was, that, that, that was great. Okay, you're free to go. Indoctrinating followers is well and good, but there is so much more you can take from them. Give them gifts, complete quests, and perform blessings for them and you will increase their loyalty to you. Once they are lo totally loyal to you, they will give you everything they owe. Watch as I show you. You, follower, come back in here. He gave him a gift, all right. Follower loyalty. Increase the follower's loyalty to level them up, and they will reward you with devotion and a command stone fragment. Each time a follower levels up, they will generate additional devotion when at a sermon or worshiping at the shrine. So be sure to cultivate their loyalty. To increase their loyalty, you can give a follower a blessing once a day when you interact with them. You can also give them gifts, complete quests for them, perform sermons, and many other actions. Cool. The more loyal followers you have, the stronger you'll become. I have much to teach you, but I am old and I grow weary. Visit me in my home and I will show you how to harness the true power of the Red Crown. Alright, how the hell do I do that? This is a different- this is new! The hell? Oh. Alright. Hey, what's up? I forgot about you. Velfa, convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Alright. Velfa. Velfa. Lax of Lax Lax of No Lava <laughs> Lava fricks. Look, we're gonna add an extra thing there. <laughs> Lava fricks. All right. Easy to level up. Loses faith when getting ill. That's easy peasy. All right. We also need another follower. Uh, but you, man, go, go get us some stone. How about you, buddy? Al Murdy. God, we had, we had three followers. Uh, 
Al Murdy. Yaxal term. <laughs> fuck is this? Heals 50% slower when in sick and in bed rest, bruh. Gain faith when building better sleeping quarters. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you can... You can go chop trees. Barbados! Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Barbados! You can keep your relative name. We're still slapping necks in there, though. You're now Barbatox! Haha! <laughs> Heals faster in bed. 50% easy to level up. I love that. All right, choose a color. You can do, you can do that because that kind of looks creepy. So, almost looks like he has a spider head. All right, you go worship. Whew. Golly, we had so. Many new followers. That's that was a lot. Yeah, we gonna get some berries. I don't know. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to build that farm plot. Farmer station. Allows farmers followers to water nearby crops. Seeds, I'll put seeds here for your followers to sow. We need We need a lot. <clears throat> um Can I I wanna chop all this grass? I can't really. Trexar and Termix have become friends! Good to hear! I love that! I see a problem. <laughs> all, all the, all the, almost all the stuff that's on our land is now like much harder to fucking mine, which is why we leave it to our followers. But oh my gosh, we need those quick. Or we're gonna have to grow for a uh, rock run next time. I want to grow some... I want to grow some food here. We still need more... What Do I... Can I do that? I don't think I can, honestly. Alright, well, we're just doing general... Yeah, we're doing just general farming. Okay. Oh, whoops, not that. Can I recycle this stuff, actually? Farm plot, 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 farm plot. We've got so much grass. All right. And so many. Jesus. All right, we're gonna find out if there's like a limitation. What's up, dude? Leader, I am famished. I fear I've become not but skin and bones. I beg of you, is there anything to eat? 
Yeah, we're working on that. Okay, Trexar. These things take time. But meals, meals, I will leave you guys with a meal before I go visit Ratau. Yeah, it was a good thing I didn't grab those seeds, because I'm actually- I have so many, I didn't realize it. Oh, we're so close. Alright, where the hell's Termix? Termix! You! Complete quest. Wow, you did it? Truly, you are without flaw! I'm grateful, great leader. Good, good, good. Continue to have faith in me. All right, let's feed the feed the people. Deadly dish. Holy shit! Seventy-five percent chance of the follower dying instantly. Oh my god. No. Okay, we're just doing berries for now. Gosh. Everybody, it is time to eat. Fuck off, spiders. You too, bird. Fuck out of here. How are you now? I knew you could do it. You truly are divine. Yes. Wonderful. Stop shitting next to the kitchen, though. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm sorry to have woken you up in the middle of the night, but it is time. Upgrade the shrine. Yes. Meh. Good work, everybody. All right, go back to sleep. I'll we'll see you guys soon. Cool. So I guess there's going to be other places for me to visit. That's nice. Got a sword currently. Oh, <laughs> get a little rat now. Oh, I'm taking all this. Thanks, Ratel. I bet you can come back here, and there's just gonna be the occasional berries for you to to grab over and over again. I must thank you by relieving me my duties. You have granted me what I desire most: peace. <laughs> Now that I have taught you everything you need to know, I can pass my days playing knuckle boards. I have friends on their way to join me for a game or two as we speak. A rowdy bunch to be sure. But now I am retired, I am free to enjoy myself. Alright, is that it? You do like random devotion and then like give me... You just chill at your place? You have discovered my humble cottage. Be careful you don't make the same mistakes I did, or you end up in a place just like this. Now, perhaps a game of knuckle bones? You don't know it. Why, it's simple. Step up to the table and I will show you. Alright. We got ourselves a little board game, but I want this. Big gift. A gift to raise a loyalty of a follower. Hell yeah, alright. Anything else in here I can take? No, right. Knuckle bones. 
What do we got here? A dice game of risk and reward. How to play. Your score is calculated by adding all your dice together. When dice of the same number are placed in the same column, multiply their value. Destroy your opponent's dice by matching yours to theirs. Wow. All right, that's pretty simple. So you just roll in each column and hope for the best? All right, I'll put it in this row. Whoa. Uh, two. Ah! Son of a bitch! That's all right! Wham! You lost your whole row! Holy hell! Multiply! So, like, you have a chance... Oh, he could've destroyed my row thing. Wham! 36! No! Well, you know what? I'll destroy that one. You bastard. So you can just kind of keep going back and forth on these. Oh my god. So it's a good idea to... I'm assuming it's a good idea to... Uh, mix up your dice in each row. Oh, I was about to say, I was about to say, are you kidding me? Wham! Multiplier! Six. One. <laughs> Just out of spite. <laughs> oh! Wait, but I had one more row. Wait, what? Okay, so it's... I see. All right, so I made a misplay in putting that one there. I think I was screwed anyways. Ah, no one can beat the Great Rato. Uncle Bone's scared to play again? Yeah. I want to see what you get when you win it. Because if it's nothing, meh. Things aren't looking so great for you, Ratow. You helped me, you dumbass! I think he won that if he didn't just delete my number. I don't think we win this. Oh! Uh, unless... Ah, oh, crud. Uh, another two! Kill his last row! Wait! I, you know, I don't have a full comprehension of this just yet. Really, gosh, we're we're getting there again. All right, let's try this. I should have run the rules. I just kind of. Rushed into it again, but I think it's literally just. Uh, it's good to know that time stands still as well while you're doing that. Wow, 
Well, he could have just super boosted his row there, dude. What the hell? You're such a jerk, Ratty. I am in trouble. I need a five. I'll take a four. It takes out his little dice there. Uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, right back at you, Ratty. Give me a five. That. Fine. If I get a five, it takes out his row, anyways. Six. Big whammy! Screw it! Boom! Big whammies! Oh, it's over for you, my friend. <laughs> Woo! The lamb wins! 99 to 36! Overkilled, ratty! And give me them rewards. <gasps> By the one below, you're a natural. Here, you've earned yourself a prize. Yes! Cool, alright, so that gave us a new tarot card. The hearts, too. Get an extra heart. So that upgrade my... It doesn't. Damn it. I was excited, because if that just straight upgraded this tarot card and replaced it, I would have much more... I would have preferred that. But I assume we still have a chance to get the first one. Which is fine, I guess. Oh, now you've had a taste of the game. Care to wager some coin? Oh, gosh. You want me to... You want me to bet money on it? Uh, wait, I'm going to save. Okay. It's a bad bon I'll... Now bet coin. Now I know how it works, right? Destroy your opponents by matching yours. Your score is calculated by having our dice together. It doesn't tell you the win condition. I, I just have to assume you like you have to fill up all of your rows and have the higher number. Like, a good strategy is just throwing all these low numbers into different rows. I'm not... Things aren't looking so hot for me here. But if we're lucky, he'll throw a two into the middle row to try to take out my row. Which would be for the best. You are a little shit. All right. Dude, I'll, what is with all of these twos? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is, thank god. This was insane. I think I lose here because he gets to just fill up all of his rows for free, dude. The hell? So now I have to, like, I think get lucky and just, like, kill his dice over and over again? I'm annoyed because now I'm actually waging, like, money in this... Things are evening out. They're no longer evening out. Oh boy. Uh, I guess three here. I I should have placed that two somewhere else. <sighs> it all comes down to the. Oh no! Man. Now I'd have to beat him twice in a row. Ugh. Gambling sucks. Uh, that was also so bad. I can't believe I rolled like eight dice. Low over and over again. If that were a D&D &D game, I was dead. Screw you.
There's no more rhyme and reason for me. I just wish to fill the board and slaughter you. One. And a two. Six. I might not have any like multipliers, but I can quickly. <sighs> I, I I'm screwed. I think. Oh my god! I just <gasps> barely won. Barely. It seems fortune is not on my side. No matter, you played well, yeah. I'm going for... I'm going, I'm, I'm just trying to get 10. 10 from him. Make him admit defeat. Okay. Nice fours. Ugh. Keep up the multipliers, keep up the party. I just gotta fill up the board faster than he can. And hope to God he doesn't do crazy multipliers like that. Alright, he's screwed. Never mind, he has a chance again. So... Okay, we're good. We win. Ah! I got the money! Bye! That's it! That's the last time I play with you! Ha ha ha! Oh, all right. It is sermon time, sermon time. Greetings, my loyal family. We have almost doubled in size. And for that, you will be rewarded in your faith. I set out on a new mission today. But first I will converse among you to see what's happening. All right, all right, all right, where's Termix? Yo, Termix, what's up, dude? Read your mind, okay, you're doing pretty good. What if I gave you a gift, dude? Interact. Give a blessing. Oh. Wonderful. Yes, now I have a new doctrine that I can give. Barbados. Have the big gift. Yes, I know. Wonderful, right? You may also have... This flower necklace. <laughs> Little does he know, it's so that he gains more power faster. So can I just bless everybody? Oh my gosh! 
Give blessings! Golly! Obviously the downside of this is that like it takes time to do this. So like blessing every single person is not a very attainable thing. But like the sooner I can get everybody up to another level of uh, divine inspiration, right? Like that sounds pretty good. Lumberyard, stone mine, missionary, all of these are good. Send your followers on a holy quest to gather resources if they make it back alive. This is this is one of those like send people out on missions and just hope for the best kind of things. Just like they're out there for like 30 minutes. If they make it back, grand. Uh, I think I might go for... I was originally going to go for the body pick because I, I feel like they're going to force us to kill someone at some point very soon. Um... I want to get the tabernacle as fast as possible. Holy hell, cheaper... Holy hell, that's huge. <laughs> All of these upgrades sound so fun. Okay. I'm going to try to make my way over to Tabernacle because that's something that will let me get more devotion over time. Which is obviously good. Uh, I should also enact a new doctrine. Greetings, my children! I truly don't know what the fuck I'm doing here, but hold on! Reassure them that death is not the end. Have them proffer both, um, both lo labor and love. Teach them the true meaning of obedience. Preach on the value of earthly goods. Instruct them on the liturgies surrounding their daily bread. Afterlife, I assure you, <laughs> the necessity of sacrifice or the comfort of the afterlife. Let's see. I didn't realize this was going to be a choice thing. Belief and sacrifice trait. All cult members will gain the belief and sacrifice trait. Plus 20 faith when another cult member sacrifices. Uh, all cult members will gain the belief and afterlife trait. Only lose negative 5 faith when a follower dies instead of 20. So, this is probably the better one in the long run. Because there's probably going to be a bunch of different ways for my people to die. Whereas, this one is, hey, sacrifice your people a bunch. And I don't really intend to sacrifice anyone currently. Mostly because the game hasn't given me a reason to. The only thing I've seen a purpose to sacrifice someone currently is... As an extra life during a run, and I haven't died yet. Like, it's probably, it's gonna happen eventually, but like, it hasn't happened yet. This is tough. This feels like a... Yeah, like this, I hope that we can get both at some point.
Oh, this is a tough choice. The other issue is that, like, currently... Ah, we'll do this one. So currently, I'm hoping that the only... Like, I'm hoping my people don't just keel over out of nowhere anyways. So if I do this one, I can hopefully just do a good job, keep people happy. And see what happens. Cult trait. You have declared that your auction was as beautiful follows with a new trait. This trait will be applied to all members of the cult and will change how their faith is affected by events. Alright. Doctrine. Oh, gosh. It really is. It looks like it is just a choice. I'm gonna have to just start fucking murking people, dude. Like, anyone who's almost about to die from illness is about to get sacrificed. That's how this is gonna go. Be well, my children. <laughs> the Lord looks after us all. Oh, this broke down? Oh, jeez. Faith. Offering statue. Decorations. Alright. I, I need to go on a run for, uh... What's up, Barbados? Yuck, this place is gross. If you don't clean this up, someone will get sick. Ugh, fine. Maybe you could clean up, Barbados, you little shit. If somebody doesn't clean this up... That would be terrible! Yeah, sure would, bud. Alright, we're going on a crusade. I gotta merc something. That's not where I need to go. What is this? Here godly blood was spilled. Here did death no longer wish to wait. Huh. Finally! Let us end this. I'll be awaiting you in my temple. Come! Witness true power. Eh. Uh. Oh. Fine, Leshy. It's about time I take down one of the old ones. Jeez. Alright, Cleaver level 4? And Touch a Tor Torua level 4. Convoke a violent eruption of power of tentacles. Alright. Let's see what this is like. Oh, holy shit. I just gotta remember, uh, I don't presently have any taros. Oh, oh gosh, I've been hit twice! It won't happen again. I've made my mistakes. Ooh, these are... I think, I think Rabbit's foot's probably for the best. Better chest rewards. run because I kind of uh... 
I need... I need resources. Nice. Okay, that's lovely. Hell yeah, two tarot cards. Hey, and I got the, the poison one anyways. What the fuck is that? Um... I, I really wish there were just some text infos on some of these. So we've got a follower on this path and what looks like a tarot card reward. But this one... I don't know what this is. I think we get a building, but I don't know what that little bunny thing is. Is that just creatures to kill? Because a follower, I feel a follower and a tarot card, I feel is like a better, better reward than just like say meat and a building. I'm I'm going for the tarot card. Yeah, give me extra health. Greeting, you schmucks! Oh, that's so sad. This little deer belongs to me and mine. Welcome to the family. Uh, rocks, rocks, give me rocks. I need those too. All right, I can either go fight some things and potentially get health, or I can go get rocks, which. Uh, yeah, we, we do need some resources. Yeah, that was huge. Holy hell, it got us like 20 stones. 